Let's do it. Yes, this just in, we have breaking news. Developers have been going wild in the streets over the latest advancements in the popular Angular web framework. I'm Emma Tversky, and I'm joined by my colleague, Mark Thompson. Thanks, Emma. You know, this newly found surge in popularity is making developers everywhere question their decision to ever doubt the Angular team at Google. But <laughs> we're left with one really important question. Who are these people? Mark. We'll have the answer to that question and so many more right after a word from our sponsors. Aw, do I have to eat this boring circle cereal? Circle cereal? Of course not. Here, have some angular cereal. It's packed with syntactic sugar. Ooh, my favorite. Mmm, chunky. Angular cereal is compiled with all the components of a balanced breakfast. Don't forget to hydrate with milk for added calcium. It's a web of deliciousness. Who are you talking to, Mom? I'm not your mom. <laughs> also try the new flavors Frosty A's, Marshmallow A's, and Oops All Directives. Angular cereal, available in your local GitHub repository. Warning, Angular cereal does not contain any nutritional value. All right, viewers at home, welcome back. Now, today's lead story is all about a renaissance, but no, we're not talking about Beyonce's newest album. Let's head to Emma in the newsroom with this investigative piece of breaking journalism. Yes, Mark, we were lucky enough to sit down with an exclusive interview with Angular themselves. Now, their identity has been protected in order to stay anonymous. Viewer be warned, what you're about to see may be shocking. Thank you for sitting down with me, Angular. Thank you for having me, Emma. So, Angular, the big question of the day is what's happening with you? Are you changing? Well, the answer is yes and no. I first launched in 2016 as a way to help developers build modern web applications. Throughout history, I've made millions of developers successful. I plan on continuing to do just that. But then, as many people are asking, why change the look? I haven't had a makeover since 2016. So while my internals have changed, it was time to refresh my documentation and appearance to better reflect who I am today. That makes a lot of sense, but what about the existing logos that are already out there? Those are vintage, but if you want to update with me, you can head to my makeover guide on the press kit in my new docs site. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me today and discuss these important topics. Thank you for having me. Speaking of that doc site, let's head back to Mark in the newsroom to learn more about that documentation. Emma, do you smell that? That was some good journalism and I think a Pulitzer. It's on its way. Nice work. Thank you. Also, our sources are reporting something really interesting that developers are able to contribute directly to the documentation with a tool called GitHub. Wait, that's GitHub. That's right. In today's headline, Angular.dev is the new site, domain, and home for Angular development. Today, that includes new tutorials, updated documentation, and guidance that will help developers like you build and develop with Angular's latest features. Angular.dev will be the default home for Angular starting V18 later this spring. Oh, you know, Emma, we got to talk to those producers because they gave us our story about GitHub a little too early. You're right. Now, Angular.dev focuses on teaching modern best practices. But what even is a modern best practice? Well, to be honest, there's a new content structure focused on teaching core Angular concepts to our beginners and, a deeper, and digging deeper into in-depth guides for advanced developers. Yes, that's right. All documentation and examples are now built with standalone APIs for simplified development by default and include a fully rewritten components guide with more to come. 
Core Web Vitals guidance was also written in collaboration with the Chrome's Aurora team, including new guides on image optimization and performance best practices. There's also new guides for SSR and hydration for better app performance by default. And a more helpful API and CLI reference still under development. Emma, did you know that there's also a quick edit and refresh, refresh cycle using the Vite developer tools in our tutorials? Yes, plus an updated public roadmap at angular.dev slash roadmap. Oh, this just in. They got what you're looking for with better search. Yes, they do. And developers are reporting that embedded playgrounds are the new way to learn Angular. For more about these embedded playgrounds, let's head to Mark with sports. <laughs> All right, thanks, Emma. Well, we're celebrating some big wins for the home team in the battle of the tutorials uh, for the league championship. Now, the incumbent champion, Tour of Heroes, has been a reigning champion for many, many years. But now the Holmes app and the in browser tutorials came ready to play. And boy, did they mean business. Now the Holmes app didn't seem to have a chance until they had the edge with the one-two knockout punch of being available in browser and offline. Now the new angular.dev site was able to secure a victory with the addition of the new in-browser tutorials and allowing developers to learn the latest features of Angular right there in the browser. All right, with that, right over to Mark for the weather. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> now, we've been getting asked lots of questions about the upcoming for forecast of the features and when they'll be released. Well, I'm here to say that there's a 60% chance that they'll be released when they're 100% ready. <laughs> Now, if we were to look at the weather report, we're forecasting that in V18, there will be new features. Then over in V19, more new features. Looking ahead at V20, more new features. And then V20, V21 and V22, more new features. Now, if we were to zoom out for the 10 feature forecast, guess what? More new features. Boy, am I looking forward to that. Thank you, Mark. The future does look bright. Now for traffic, let's cut to Jessica live on the streets of NGConf for a quick traffic report. Jessica, how's the traffic looking outside? Hi, Emma and Mark. Uh, this is Jessica with the Channel 18 News traffic report. Uh, I've been waiting for the Channel 18 chopper, but I, I'm not seeing it. Uh, maybe it's grounded, I'm not sure, but there is a some traffic on the street here, um, quite a bit of traffic actually right now, uh, just like all the traffic you have been seeing on angular.dev. You want to send all of your developers over to angular.dev. That's it for this traffic report. Back to you in the studio, Mark and Emma. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, that's right. We are seeing record traffic to angular.dev, and we're expecting a lot more once we enable it to be crawlable on search. Uh, we'll make sure to find Jessica in the lobby for some of those serial pieces after this. Uh, now, let's sign off. <laughs> Sounds good, Emma. Well, actually, this has been a very, very jam-packed newscast, and I'm sure the developers everywhere are happy with these updates. Yes, that's been your Channel 18 News for March 20th at NGConf 2024. Be sure to update today, check out angular.dev, and keep your eye out on that great horizon for that forecast. For Mark Thompson and the rest of the Angular team, I'm Emma Twersky. Be sure to ng-update. Wow, that was